Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see how I created these, then keep on watching. Hello, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable, get a wee beverage. Don't forget to subscribe and click that wee bell because that will let you know whenever I upload a video. Don't forget to also do some shout outs. So anybody that comments, you're in with a chance of getting a wee shout out on my video just to say hello and appreciate your comments. And also Scottish word of the week. Yes, we love that. <laughs> Well, I do anyway. All right, so my sister, she made some resin art. Um, so this was her just experimenting and trying it out. And she made me these. So I'm so happy to show them to you because I appreciate them and I love them so much. Um, she's like, I hope you like your ashtray. <laughs> and I don't even smoke. <laughs> I'm like, that will be a fantastic brush bath. And oh, look, you can rest your brush on there. Of course, it's the Natalie Bugridge Detailer Brush from Nail Sugar which will be back in stock very soon. And, <laughs> and she made me this beautiful palette, which is just gorgeous. And another gorgeous palette. Who can have too many palettes? You can. You never can, can you? No. And they mean so much when somebody makes them for you. I love it. And I love her. Thank you. Love you lots. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be using these full cover tips to do some nail art on as usual. And I'm going to go in with two coats of colour on each nail. As you can see, this gel polish that I'm using is really pigmented. So it just depends on yourself. I like to do two coats just to be sure. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to give Shelly's Nail Parlour a wee shout out and say hello. And she said, just loving your channel. You really cheer up my week. Sorry, I got tongue tied there. I'm breaking these teeth in for an idiot. <laughs> Thanks so much for your comment, Shelley. Honestly, I really, really enjoy doing this and making people just giggle and have and just enjoy it and have a wee bit of fun with me, you know, because that's what it's all about. Yes, nail art and making people giggle. <laughs> Even if it's just me laughing at my stupid self or jokes. <laughs> okay, back to the nails. So I've put some of the orange at the top and some of the pink at the bottom. I put more pink than orange because the orange is quite um, overpowering. So I'm just going to take my ombre brush and I'm just flicking that back and forward across the nail. Every now and again you'll see me, I'm going taking the brush away. That's me wiping it in my wee brush bath. <laughs> Don't worry too much about your blend on your first coat. Um, they're always a wee bit iffy that's okay because you go in with a second coat and it fixes everything so again just putting that on and button that color up even if it touches a wee bit just check your brush make sure that there's there's none of the other color on there and then just clean it off if there is but always check because you don't want to contaminate the other color that you're using again just doing the same thing brushing back and forward across the nail there we go i'm showing you my wee brush bath it's the best <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get in and do the second coat now. Again, not as much orange, just putting some of that at the top and then some of the pink at the bottom. When I'm happy with what I have on there, again, just flicking back and forward with that brush, working up and down. Um, so I'm blending that in in the centre, wipe my brush off, come back, and then I work a wee bit higher up and bring that down a bit. There we go. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm happy with the blend. If you think that you need more pink, work from the bottom up. And then if you think you need more orange, work from the top down to blend it. If you know what I mean, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just dancing to the music, by the way. I don't know if you can hear it very well. <laughs> again, just going to do the same thing here again. Um, yeah, so I, I forgot to even mention this. I hit 1k. I hit 1000 subscribers on YouTube. I am so chuffed and over the moon. And you know the really, really amazing thing? I'm going to be able to do lives. So I'm just waiting for them to switch it on. It can take up to three weeks or so. So I'm just waiting on it. And whenever I can go live, 
let me know if that's something that you would be interested in seeing this crazy lady and talking to me in real time yes let me know leave me a wee comment down below tell me if you want to have a wee chat with me nothing in particular just sitting having a wee chat and a giggle and who knows what will happen <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I've added a coat of pink on the left and orange on the right. I'm going to ombre this and then cure it. Now, for some reason, the footage is missing. I, I probably didn't record it. I forgot. So what ha happened, once I cured that this base layer, I then go and I put where the pink is, I, I put the orange. And where the orange is, I put the, the pink. So when you see me wiping this off here, you'll see underneath the pink is orange. And then underneath the orange will be pink there we go so I forgot to show that I actually did that so I hope that makes sense um if I'm honest I don't really think it works very well with these colors for me um so it's something that I'm going to have to have a play about with it was the first time trying it um so yeah I think I'm going to have to try I'd, I'd maybe do it with like a, a darker colour and then a lighter colour. I think that would probably show up better. I think the colours are too similar in intensity. <laughs> okay, so once I've done that, I've then gone in and put a base coat on over the pink. And I'm just going to put some... Hippy Dippy. Or is it Dippy Hippy? <laughs> I should know this! <laughs> I'm just going to put that onto the, the base coat and then press it in. Just gently press it in, always with a gloved finger. Never touch uncured products with your bare hands. That will cause allergies. Um, and once you're allergic, then that means no more nails. And we can't have that. No. <laughs> anyway, let's have a shout out. Claire Brown, love these colours together so much. As a teen, I had lots of grey and yellow check clothing in the 80s. Congrats on making it to 1K subbers onwards and upwards. Thank you so much. Oh, seriously, honestly. The, the thing that I'm most excited about is the fact that I can communicate with even more. You know, with like, like doing lives and um, if, when my community tab comes up, I'll be able to put wee things on there as well. I'm so excited. I know, I'm easily pleased. But yes, I like, I like having a wee chat with you. <laughs> anyway, right. So, um, again, just went and put down some base coat and then I'm taking some lava lamp on the orange. And I'm just going to do a wee glitter fade at the tip. And then I'm going to do the, the same on this one. I'm taking Dippy Hippy. I think it is. It's either Dippy Hippy or Hippy Dippy. I can't remember because <laughs> I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to do the same. Just have a wee blend. A wee, a wee glitter fade. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say that I've lost my marbles because I never had them to begin with. So yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'm going to go in double base coat over the top of these just to seal the glitter in. And then once I've done that and it's all cured, um, I'll wipe off the dispersion layer and then just give them a wee buff so that they're nice and smooth because I can't cope with lumpy bumpy nails or wee sticky out bits or whatever. I, I, I genuinely can't cope. <laughs> Ah, oh, no. Seriously, my nightmare. Oh, yes. Yeah, so these are a couple of sets of nails that I did this week for my nieces. I haven't done any press on nails this year, I don't think. So I was so happy just to sit and make them some. Um, so, yeah, they'll be on their way to them very soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> they're so happy because it's the, the thing. They love it. They really love it. <laughs> Okay, so I think here, this is me top coating. Yeah, I'm top coating because I have buffed all the nails. Yes, that's what you did, Kelly. Just remind yourself what you did. <laughs> For any of my newbies on here, um, I promise I'm not always this data. I, well, I'm, I'm kidding, but yeah. <laughs> so once I was top coating this, I thought... I, I, I really want to do something else and everything I tried wasn't working so then I thought I, I did the first squiggle and I thought right that looks okay so let's just go with that and it's okay that I'm using it on top of a shiny top coat because these are actually made for that you can put them on top or under whatever you want to do um, and they cure without a tacky dispersion layer as well so perfect it's perfect 
So anyway, so I'm just using the colours that I've used in the, the set, the orange and the pink, and just painting those wee squiggles. Kind of give me 60s vibes, summer 60s. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a bit unusual, the colours for me, to use those kind of colours together. Um, it's a bit unusual for me, because I, I quite like the kind of muted, you know, um, lip pastels and just muted colours in general. I love that. But it's always good to try new things um, and just experiment really, isn't it? I just like it. I like playing about with things. And you know something, since starting to do my YouTube channel, I've really came to love colour in general because there used to be certain colours that I would want to use and the rest I just wouldn't entertain whatsoever. But when you start to do nail art, you really start to think, right, I need this colour and that colour for if I want to do this, you know. Like, I would never buy brown before and I buy it now because it could be used for nail art in general. Um, like I did my stag set. Um, I'm trying to think. Just anything like that, you know, anything that you want to just paint, you need all the colours. You need all the colours, all the things, all the colours, all the glitters. <laughs> can never have enough. But yeah, so I'm glad that I, I've came round to that, you know, I, I'm not as blind when it comes to, I'm not colour blind anymore, there we go, I'm not colour blind anymore, I can see all the colours and I know that they've all got use and they can be all pretty in different ways. <laughs> Does that make sense? Has anyone else found that? Let me know. Yeah, let me know about that. So I'm just doing a wee thin pink line under this orange just to tie it in with the other one. I just added a wee bit of something. I left them um, just shiny. I did think about making them matte, but then I just didn't. <laughs> I just didn't do it. I think that'd be quite cool as well. Um, yeah. So I, I'm quite glad that I tried this in these couples. <clears throat> Sorry. Even though it didn't go to where my brain was thinking. Um, doesn't matter. They're still pretty. But anyway, I think we're nearly done here and I'll cure that in the lamp. And there we go. They're very bright. Very bright. <laughs> um, so I'm going to practice that middle one for definite um, and see what I can do with that. And you never know, I might do it in another set with different colours and hopefully it'll work better. Okay, so it's time for Scottish Word of the Week. Yay! <laughs> I bet you were looking forward to this. This week it's Sugar to Shake wobble. Scots is a wonderfully illustrative language. You can practically see the word sugar wobbling as you read it. In a sentence, just get a wee sugar and it'll come loose. In English, just give it a small shake and it'll come loose. <laughs> Did that make sense? Can you see it? Can you see that jelly sugarling? <laughs> so there we go. That's this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give me a wee thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. And leave a wee comment down below. Let me know if you would like me to do a wee live. And before I go, a massive, massive well done to Karen Heidi Reese on passing her Complete Gel Tech course. Yes, you're so amazing. I'm so happy and proud. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry about that. I just deafened you. Thanks for watching. Stay creative and I'll see you next week. Bye!